Hello, hello there. Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever, whichever you are, wherever you are right now. Okay, hello. My name is Ian Fidaus, and today we're gonna do a little bit special, a little bit different. We're gonna do a special movie review on Ghostbusters Afterlife, the movie. I'm gonna show you the poster, guys. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Here's the poster. Ghostbusters of Life. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit, a little bit of review regarding Ghostbusters of Life, and I can say that all of you must have heard the classic original Ghostbusters, which was released in 1981 or 1984. I don't really remember. I think it's 1984. And also the sequel was released, Ghostbusters 2 was released in 1989, and then there there was the 2016 Ghostbusters featuring four women starring Kristen Wiig and also Melissa McCarthy and also now in 2021 there's Ghostbusters Afterlife and film ni dah ditunda for like one and a half year lah because of COVID-19 and Ghostbusters Afterlife the fourth franchise of Ghostbusters is a direct continuation from the first and second Ghostbusters and we can put aside 2016 Ghostbusters because they tak ada kena mengena dengan Ghostbusters Afterlife or the original Ghostbusters so first and foremost uh, we're gonna uh, gonna thank to Sony Pictures Entertainment but they released Ghostbusters Afterlife in Malaysia and it will be released on the 2nd of December 2021 so you guys can watch it in the cinema screen. Okay. so what is Ghostbusters Afterlife? What, what's the synopsis of Ghostbusters Afterlife? Okay. as most of us know Ghostbusters is a classic a classic film a bunch of people like macam empat people consists of like a group where they capture ghosts um, the film is catered mostly to teenagers and to kids di mana it's a film it's not 18 and above it's a film where everyone can see it everyone can watch it it's suitable for all adults or all kids to watch it because it's a very enjoyable new film lah. and that's the origin Ghostbusters and that's let's check out the brand of Ghostbusters it is for kids and also for adults even though I did the word ghost uh, title kan what I can say is it's not it's not that scary compared to real ghost films like The Conjuring or Insidious kan so Ghostbusters Afterlife ni okay the synopsis of Ghostbusters Afterlife the fourth Ghostbusters is, is a direct continuation whereby the first and second Ghostbuster is about this group of people kan uh, all men Ghostbuster Afterlife ni is a continuation where uh, budak-budak pula yang akan mengambil alih the four people that had been introduced in the original which is like two of them adalah cucu kepada salah seorang lelaki yang ada dalam Ghostbusters tu yang tangkap hantu semua tu adalah datuk kepada budak-budak dalam Ghostbusters Afterlife ni dua daripada empat I saw the film and what I can say is I kind of enjoy it but to be honest let me say first thing the best thing the best takeaway the biggest takeaway for Ghostbusters Afterlife is definitely definitely fan service if you love Endgame if you have watched Endgame if you love Star Wars 7 if you have watched Star Wars The Force Awakens you can say that film tu banyak gila there are a lot of fan service dalam film Endgame Avengers Endgame and also Star Wars 7 and Ghostbusters Afterlife is just like that I mean if you love the original Ghostbusters you will love this one I can guarantee you will love this one and most of you people who are actually like 30 years old and above we actually love this film because I know that it can bring a lot of memories and nostalgia from, from years ago lah when, when you watch the original when you were a kid in the cinemas or maybe with your friends or with your family kan? there will be like a thousand or one nostalgia lah that Ghostbusters Ghostbusters Afterlife will bring to you so you really have to see Ghostbusters Afterlife okay because fans of this memang banyak gila banyak sangat guys banyak banyak sangat the second thing I love is the comedy the comedy dalam film ni is actually quite refreshing di mana what I can say is that comedy dalam film ni boleh ditangkap oleh budak-budak boleh ditangkap oleh remaja boleh ditangkap oleh orang dewasa dan orang-orang senior citizen di mana it's not just joke it's only catered to teenagers only teenagers can understand uh, the joke no everyone can understand Stand a joke. Memang boleh cakap when I saw the film ramai jugalah yang ketawa uh, on certain scenes lah. Cause the comedy is not too like full throttle. It's not that many, but at the same time, it's not whereby there be no jokes or like the jokes are all lame. No, the film memang mengetengahkan comedy as one of the genres lah. 
as one of the central genres and I love that so much. Dia buatkan film tu tak boring lah at least. Okay, the third thing that I love about Ghostbusters is the kid, especially McKenna Grace yang pernah berlakon dalam Chris uh, uh, dalam, dalam cerita Gifted dengan Chris Evans dia pernah berlakon sebagai budak jadi budak um, dalam filem Captain Marvel Captain Marvel masih budak budak lah and also dia adalah cucu kepada salah seorang Ghostbusters original Ghostbusters punya group and memang what I really love about this is that the kids kan they can act very very well and they are not annoying at all I mean ada seorang ni ada seorang budak ni supporting character lah nama dia podcast like literally nama dia podcast because well obviously he makes podcast but he, he's basically like the comic relief of the film dia yang selalu buat jokes tau but he's not annoying tau langsung tak annoying the kids somehow like know that macam oh okay we are the good guys or we are the good new group and we know that okay we're gonna have like a huge screen time banyak masa yang kita akan apa yang budak-budak ni akan papa kat screen and they know that and to execute it they know that they orang kena buat themselves as like human beings yang likable for audience to enjoy so those are the three things that I love the most and the fourth thing is the vibe that they gave out that macam throughout the film kan kita dapat this vibe yang quite similar to it uh, yang the clown punya film tu and also dia ada similar vibe to Stranger Things yeah that's what I can say which is like a bunch of like macam teenagers or kids yang macam wandering around the neighborhood town kan and also the vibe the tone of the color the color palette semua meng- they focus on quite like the same tone they focus on quite like the same plot di mana diorang ada mission yang tersendiri untuk menyelamatkan neighborhood town diorang and that's what I love lah about Ghostbusters because it reminds me a lot for someone yang tak berapa tengok the origin Ghostbusters it actually reminds me a lot of it and also Stranger Things okay so now let's go to the cons though I really I kind of like enjoy this film but at the same time also it kind of drags a little bit at times you know it kind of drags di mana boleh cakap the film is at the mark of 2 hours 5 minutes mark second which is like 125 minutes but boleh cakap the first 50 minutes or the first hour of the movie is just like basically long talkings or conversations that are never ending lah maksudnya maksudnya dekat sini tak ada sangat action ha, kalau kau nak bandingkan dengan original Ghostbusters or even the remake 2016 Ghostbusters tu kan boleh cakap Ghostbusters Afterlife ni adalah action yang action diorang papakan action scenes yang paling sikit lah compared to all the four which is boleh cakap dalam 2 to 3 kali action scenes throughout the 2 hours film ni dia banyak tekankan kepada character development dia banyak tekankan kepada plot which is good uh, all of them are great it's just that somehow you know when we watch Ghostbusters we want to watch like kind of like action you know scenes you know like highlight moments but they never came through somehow it's like the punch yang boleh buat ke orang stay that long or macam buat ke orang tak pergi ke tandas sebab dia banyak drag jugalah a little bit you know at times the film sebab they are too much of character developments that they want to and menyebabkan orang disengage somehow because we want to see action kita you know tengok wayang kita tengok Ghostbusters our mind dah set okay this is an action film so we want to watch action scenes lah banyak kan at least like 4 or 5 action scenes lah at least tapi apa yang kita dapat hanya 2-3 action scenes throughout je so itu boleh menyebabkan some audience will feel a little bit boring lah especially for those yang memang tak tengok original Ghostbusters or yang tak suka original Ghostbusters juga or dislike Ghostbusters takkan enjoy sangat lah because boleh cakap Ghostbusters Afterlife ni is for the people is for those yang memang enjoy Ghostbusters uh, the original Ghostbusters yang memang are, are in love with the original Ghostbusters because like I said previously banyak fan service so macam if you are if you want to watch Ghostbusters Afterlife because you love the original Ghostbusters yes please do because you will be like oh oh man oh oh oh, oh. that's the weapon that they use before like, oh, things like that lah things like that eh. banyak lagi but I, I won't spoil it to you guys so itu, itu like the major problem of Ghostbusters for me and the second thing yang quite bit of a problem is that somehow even though the plot is great but it never quite captures my interest on it probably yeah because like I said it drags at times so plot dia pun macam meh like it took too long for them to actually spark you know or actually enlighten us with something interesting so that's the second thing and the third thing is the action scenes were somehow somehow quite 
it, it's just it's just okay. It's not something that oh I never seen this before. I never seen this action scene before. I mean there are moments yeah, like, they are good, especially like the ending of uh, fighting scenes lah. Kind of like like nak buat kan saya nangis juga lah sebenarnya the ending scene because the ending too is actually quite heartbreaking juga lah. Got to see the film that the ending scene is actually worth it for you guys to go and watch this in the cinema really. But what I can say is hmm to action scenes dia kurang sikit lah dia kalau ada pun macam more to like cat and mouse main game lah like macam kejar mengejar ha. tapi dia tak ada macam betul-betul action scenes kan because you know Ghostbusters is about capturing ghosts kan it's not about fighting with ghosts ha, macam tu lah but what I can say you're gonna love it if you love the original Ghostbusters and the ending punya fighting scene tu tu bagus tu bagus you're gonna be flooded with a lot of emotions man the ending scene Memang wow lah. Saya cakap that's another pro lah. That's another one of the good things lah about the film. So what I can say is my rating for Ghostbusters Afterlife, I will give it a seven over ten. For someone who don't really watch the original Ghostbusters, I know I do watch it, but I don't. I know I, I I didn't live through it. I didn't live through those times. And also I'm not really a huge fan of Ghostbusters Afterlife. But for someone who is you know a huge fan, a devoted fan of Ghostbusters, or someone who lived through the era, please do watch. It. Please do watch it. I bet you will give this at least, at the very least, eight over ten. Most probably, we give you a nine over ten, lah. I guess, or ten over ten. Now, considering that it's still COVID nineteen, so please, whatever it is, make sure to follow the SOPs when you go watch this film. Okay, starting second December, dah keluar dah, so you guys will dah boleh serbu dah pawai gam. But please follow the SOP, kain mask always, and if you guys nak makan popcorn lah, wayang pun boleh. But please, please, please. Uh, lepas habis makan uh, apa, popcorn uh, in the cinema, please wear your mask again and also please uh, apa, ikut jarak yang ditetapkan make sure if you are in the same house, okay, you can sit side by side like two people but if you are not in the same house, please jarak satu-satu-satu okay, please jangan beli tiket yang duduk dua-dua tapi bukan kat, uh, apa, in the same house and please always sanitize your hands semua kan before, during and after the film and yeah, please be careful lah. Always follow the SOP, okay? Always adhere to the SOPs. So, you guys will call our kiddo carer and to jaga kan orang kat rumah for a little while for you guys to you know release uh, your stress or you know have um, the weekend out by yourselves or with your friends or your family, kan? Of your spouse, your partners, and tengok lah enjoy for a few hours to yourself, you know? Okay. So you're gonna call. You know who to call? Kiddo care. That's all from me and thank you to Sony Pictures Entertainment, okay? So don't forget to watch Ghostbusters Afterlife in cinema starting 2nd of December 2021.